Well, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Folari. Uh, and today um, we have, a, uh, as one of my favorite radio programs says it, we have an important guest in the building. Uh, those that know about that particular radio show will know the program. But uh, I'm talking about um, uh, the Honorable Commissioner for Wealth and um, uh, Wealth Creation and Employment in Lagos State, Mrs. Yetunde Arobieke. Thank you very much. Madam Commissioner, Thank great you. to have you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Indeed. Now, you have a, a very, very interesting uh, ministry by which I mean that just the name of the ministry is so very encouraging. In fact, I should have introduced you probably as Madam Wealth. You know, <laughs> but we have yet in the Arobi, okay, Madam Wealth oh, in the house. God. Now, um, wealth creation and employment. It's, it, it's a wholesome title, and it's so, it's, it's so optimistic, and it's so encouraging. Um, first of all, I know that there are many things to talk about, but I want to look at the Ministry of wealth creation and employment and there's a program you have in there cash transfer program <laughs> please madam can you start by letting me understand how it is that i'm a i'm a Lagosian because i live in lagos state how can wealth be transferred to me in lagos state cash thank you, thank you very much thank you very much actually ministry of wealth creation we have three main departments okay we have uh, employment, which I would rather call employability. Okay. And we have entrepreneurship department. Mm -hmm. And we have um, partnership department. Okay. On the partnership department is the cash transfer unit. Okay. Yeah, because the, that, that cash transfer, it's a program of the federal government. But it's tripartite in nature. Mm. The state have their role to play. The local government have their role to play, and further government comes with the money that we disbursed. You know, outside money, there are other things that are very important, putting all the architecture and all the necessary, you know, process in place to, to give us a seamless, you know, uh, cash transfer process. So to those, Lagos State have their own critical role okay. that they play. We establish a unit and the unit is saddled with linking up with the local government to determine, uh, no, we don't determine the vulnerable and the indigent in the community. Ministry of um, Economic Planning and Budget, you know, you know, work on the social register to which when transferred to the federal government, they come back to us with beneficiaries and we enroll them, we enroll them and we pay them. That is the role of uh, the Ministry of Wealth Creation in the cash transfer process. Like okay. I told you, it's a federal government project. Okay. Yeah. Uh, somehow, I, I don't get the impression that um, I'm able to fill a form and then be on the list. Yes, you have of, to. Of those. You uh, have to. So, uh, but that is handled by economic planning and budget. Okay. You do enumeration. You go to the local government, get enumerated. And those details are now forwarded to the World Bank mm -hmm. and the federal government. And they come back to Ministry of Wealth Creation with beneficiaries as fulfilling the, their own indices mm -hmm. of household to be given the cash transfer. Okay, so they still decide on the household. Yes. No, be, no, yes. They, they have Even to be from, checked. They have from to be boxes that must be checked from a whopping lot of numbers that we said. And that's why Mr. Governor is interested in domesticating the, the process. Mm. Because when we go to, uh, to make payment, you see people loitering about complaining that, oh, I did the enumeration with A, B, C, D. How come they are beneficiaries and we are not? Do, do, do you understand do, that? Do, ah, so, because you have to fulfill certain conditions as stated by the World Bank for you. Like in Lagos, how do we meet a standard of um, a mud houses? We don't have mud houses in Lagos. Not anymore. But we have blighted areas. We have areas, you know, where, where we have uh, where some uh, people would rather call ghettos. You know, so those are equally part of the people that are qualified, you know, to, to be given the cash 
you know, for their needs. Because we're talking about cash, um, funding comes to mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, a ministry such as yours uh, in Lagos State, uh, Wealth Creation mm -hmm. and Employment, um, it's a relatively young ministry. Oh, you thank know, God. It's, it's, you are uh, the only one saying this. <laughs> <laughs> I so, was in a program and someone was saying, we've never, what is, we've never heard of this ministry. Is it new? Is it uh, the governor that just brought the ministry? I said, the ministry is about five years ago. Yes. But Mr. Governor is making it functional. Indeed. That's Indeed. all I need to let you know. Indeed. Mr. Indeed. Governor is interested in those things that we do in, in fact, and is making that difference. And that's why it's now known and people now know about wealth creation. I, I imagine the governor pro promotes, you know, just about all of the ministries because this is, you know, he, he's at the head of the um, uh, the team and um, he's... Mr. He, governor is a man of understanding. And, you know, even when you present things to him, he knows the impact already. Do you, do you understand? Indeed. He knows the impact. So uh, uh, why, uh, why I went there was with the Ministry of Wealth and, um, you know, and Wealth Creation and Employment, I imagine it's going to take a pretty penny. Uh, you, you're going to be needing that kind of a budget. Uh, so I wondered, because there are scarce resources up and down the land, not mm -hmm. just in Lagos State, mm -hmm. how has that worked out? Because my guess is that you might not exactly have all that you need as commissioner that you're going to put a proposal forward for. Uh, or because of what you're saying, has Mr. Governor's, you know, satisfied all your needs and you yeah. have everything that you need to anyway. function as the Ministry of um, Wealth Creation and Employment um, that you want. Thank you very much. There is no government that has enough to address the challenges before them. So you're but managing. all I need to let you know is that uh, I can say categorically that Mr. Governor is committed to the concerns of the ministry. And let me start with that. What we do, you know, as our core responsibility is to initiate. When we initiate, we formulate, we execute, and we evaluate whatever such policies are, mm -hmm. all wealth creation policies in the state. So if you have a man of understanding at the realm of affairs, it is quicker for you to get results than if you, if you have, uh, in my opic, a well, leader. You have to sell you know, to him. You have to you, sell, you, you have to keep on talking, so gibbering, you, jabbering. So you have a situation where it's not very necessary to preach to the converted, in the no, sense no, that no, Mr. No, Governor no, 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 is already no, no. there. No, what I'm saying is it you need to give justification. Mm -hmm. But it's quick to know where those things will lead to. Okay. That's what I'm saying. And, and, and you know, the Bible says, seek understanding. But when you're endowed with it already, you don't need to seek it. <laughs> I, 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 get, I get the point you're making. Now, yeah. now, businesses, you know, have been supported with grants that I've, I've, I've read this in the press. Uh, your ministry, through your ministry, businesses have been supported to the tune of between 50,000 and 5 million naira. Mm -hmm. to, um, and, um, uh, and that uh, is uh, LSCTF. Uh, okay. LSCTF is a board a fund uh, under the ministry. LS, Lagos State. Lagos State Employment Trust Fund. Okay. They are like a corporate unit. So that's where that money came from. Or, or, that, almost that, a billion. That's where, and almost it, a billion naira. It's almost even over billion. that. I it, think it, it uh, they've given about uh, seven point, over 7.6 billion now. Oh, really? To over 8,000 people who are either uh, MSMEs or who are you know, who, who are involved in one thing or the other. But okay. they have their process. Uh, but, but why, why you I have say that? to give justification what, what, for the need of the money. You can explain this to me, because mm -hmm. when I was researching this a bit, I found that um, research says that um, what, there have been something like 18, 1,835 beneficiaries, 940 that million is, naira that is has a, been disbursed. That is recovery fund. Okay. You see, during the NSAS mm -hmm, pro protest, mm -hmm. uh, most, 10,000 direct jobs, uh, uh, 40,000 indirect jobs yes, reportedly yes, saved. Yes, yes. And that is not even inclusive of all that we do at the ministry. That is the report of LSATF. And I'm telling you, I'm a board member. Mm -hmm. You know, those reports, they are correct as they are. But, you know, the issue is LSATF, 
they have their own process. We don't, we don't uh, like uh, force issues on them, no. They're bored under us, no doubt, but they have their independence. And, you know, and, and that is really to take away a lot of bureaucracy, a lot of uh, all this red tapism, you know, so that public, uh, public people are not complaining that, oh, they go through a lot of headache to assess, you know, what has been promised as far as okay. the creation of the fund mm. is concerned. Mm. So they operate with their own, you know, um, process, the, which they established. And uh, to God be all the blood, I'm a board member. So for whatever interjections that I want to do, I'll do it at the board level. But they have the freedom to do most things, you know, all by themselves because they do not want bureaucracy. They don't want all this, you know, red tapism. The ministry must go through this and that and that and all that so that people can, people who have knowledge, please, I'm just praying that Lagosians will have knowledge of the things that they can have access to and hey, they can take advantage. You know, that, that's one of the things that um, we might be able to get from the program here because I see that there are a number of, um, I made a number of talking points and um, uh, they, they range from things that you call, the programs that you have. Uh, you have um, a graduate internship placement exactly. program. You now, have, okay. Uh, no, no, I, want, I just wanted to give an overview. Mm -hmm. Graduate internship uh, placement program, uh, mindset reorientation program, exactly. uh, trade and artisans upskilling program, exactly. uh, men, uh, mentorship program. Exactly. Uh, well, you, 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 you nullified the cash transfer program that I wanted to talk about. You, no, the cash you, transfer no, program. No, you virtually said I'm not qualified. So, uh, no, you are not qualified uh, so because you don't fall on. under the category of people okay. we are to okay. give the cash transfer. And you are not indigent and you are not a vulnerable person. Okay. So, so. Uh, if you say so, madam. Yes, I know you are not. To the glory of God. Yes. And uh, entrepreneurship a skill acquisition program. Now, mm -hmm. those are the programs. There might be more. But let's talk about those um, uh, to, uh, so that we can better and through those uh, talking points maybe understand your ministry. Thank you very way. much. Thank now, you very the much. The graduate internship placement program. What you know, that, that was a that? fantastic program that uh, Mr. Governor uh, decided to do, which was even before the answers anyway, you know, and I, I think it stems from the fact that, you know, he's an empathic leader. Looking at issues of uh, parents taking their words to school, their words coming back, just sitting with them at home, having nothing to do, and looking at the fact that he too is a father, mm -hmm. he felt, oh, Yes, we can make a change. We can really get all these youths in the workspace. Okay. And that is the essence of the graduate. And another point is we discover that there is a strong disconnect between this generation and government. And that is why they will keep on complaining because they don't know. You're talking about the youth. I'm talking about the youth. Okay. Because they don't know a lot of programs that government, you know, seems to be undertaking okay. on their behalf. Let me understand better still um, the graduate inter internship placement. Okay. I will, I'm, I'm, I'll I'm go, a fresh I'll graduate go, now. I will, I will go through okay. that for you. How, how now, would I the an graduate internship program, it's number one, graduates that are in Lagos State that you can have a proof that you live in Lagos okay. uh, by having your last card, mm -hmm. you know, which is to show that you live in Lagos. That is number one. You've not been able to get a job, and Mr. Governor is willing to put smiles on your faces. You need to get engaged. A devil's, uh, they say the devil's whatever uh, is the... Idle hand, the, the, is, the hand is the devil's workshop. Mm -hmm. So... He doesn't want a situation whereby you have a very viral youth not being engaged and they now turn to something else. Okay. So we, we presented the program to him. He said, yes, I think this will impact our families. And uh, he so, agreed. So, so what happens? I'm a fresh graduate. I fall into the category you've just described. Um, do, do I get, how do I get in turn? This is, I, how you, this, is how, this is how you go about it. We now established a portal. That portal, the link was effectively distributed. It's GIPP 
lasg at lagosstate.gov.ng. Okay. Now you get on the portal and you fulfill all the righteousness on the portal. When you do that, then it, the portal itself takes you into the training you know, side mm -hmm. of the portal that teaches you what to expect you know, in a workspace, okay. how to use team spirit, to how to be an addition to, to where you are posted. You know, most of these people are just from school and all they have are the, the school experience. So we want to teach you, you know, such things that you may be facing so, so when it, you get to a workspace uh, environment. Where, wherever that workspace is, either yes. in Lagos State or outside there in the private sector. No, they are Lagos State. Oh, okay. Let me this, tell you, this, the portal equally State. house of takers, okay. house corporate organizations mm -hmm. who <laughs> had been dastardly affected by the pandemic, mm -hmm and um, who really want a helping hand. So what that does is, we will give you people to work for you, we will pay them. You need not pay our interns. You don't need to pay our interns. We will pay them stipends, and they will work for you. Uh, for, 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 for what? Because they for will six look, months. For six months. For six months. And then so what happens after each, that? What happens after that is that we expect that you now absorb them. I will okay. add a free six months, okay. you know, knowledge mm -hmm. of our interns, mm -hmm. whom we consider our ambassadors, and whom we have trained to really show that they are worthy of being employed. These are Lagosian youths. These are Lagosian youths. Who, who they are, live in Lagos. Who, who, who live in Lagos, who are resident in Lagos, yes. you know, and have... Um, the, uh, it doesn't really matter which state you come from. It, uh, exactly. That's the point I wanted to bring yes, out. It doesn't matter. You, because that's the way it is. You can become a Lagosian simply by having been born here, mm -hmm. or simply by having been here for the past 15 years, yeah. 22 years, yeah. whatever in it is. As much as you, you live in Lagos. You, are, you live in Lagos. And you have evidence of Lastra. Mm -hmm. You have your NYSC certificate. It's just similar to what the federal government did, and they call it Empower, right? Mm -hmm. But they give them 30,000, but we give them 40,000. Okay, now let me go to the other side because we've just spoken about the Nigerian who has become a graduate. And mm -hmm. um, uh, it needs to be said that even though we have problems with how to put our graduates where they need to be, uh, they're still very, they're very many. Uh, and, you know, they're very, very many. Uh, some, of, some, of, some youths can't get a degree or can't go through that process. Uh, what do we do with those ones? There must be a counterpoint. Is that where you talk about trades and artisans upskilling programs? Thank you very much. To all those youths who are either school SAT mm -hmm. holders or they are OND holders, WAPA is attending to them. WAPA, and they have a dream. They have, you know, something they choose to do. WAPA will take them to WAPA a vocational... Is the, WAPA is the Ministry of Women and... Affairs. Uh, no, 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 no. She what goes beyond WAPA? women. Uh, but, yes. but, but when you said WAPA, I just wanted people WAPA to understand is what is WAPA. Ministry of Women, Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. There you go. Yeah. And Poverty Alleviation. Yes, that's a, so a sister ministry. you get enrolled with them for, you know, maybe a vocation. Then they train you. Whatever it is. Yes. It and might they be hairdressing, it might be yes. electrician, it, it might, might be, be a plumber. I'm telling you. It might be a, Those a, people a, an are auto very mechanic. Vast. Yes. They teach you whichever way, in as much as you've shown interest, they take you through the vocational training. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we take them from there, we upskill them to teams. We upskill them to 24, 21st century trends. Okay. We take them, we, we teach them, you know, uh, uh, we take them higher than we are they are. So these trainers are within the Ministry of Wealth. They Asia. are not within the ministry. Okay. They, they are trained by LASVEB, really. What's LASVEB? And, um, I think it's Lagos State uh, Vocational okay. And educational but they're professional. board, to, you know, they're, they're professional they are at this whole art of upskilling. Up yes, they are professionals. Artisans. And before we do that, we visit them. We look at what they want, what they have, because we don't want a situation whereby you still be training our people with the rudimentary equipment like a sewing machine that they are using with hand mm -hmm. or 
a baba with a small clipper and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, with the mechanical no, no, clipper. No. <laughs> you know. We don't, we don't, we go there, we look at what they have. Okay. That it's really with trains. And um, we, we onboard our artisans to them. And Mr. Governor is even doing something greater, you know, that when I tell you now, yeah. you will appreciate. Okay. You know, we have a virtual market. As I'm speaking with you. Aha. Uh -huh. Very we interesting. Have, Thank you for going there. Yes. This, we have, we have. This virtual market. Our consultant mm -hmm. going around to make sure that all artisans are captured in a portal. You know, so that, Mr. Yori, when you travel out of the country and you need a service, you don't really need to. Is it that you look at the yellow pages right. to look at a link or you look at... So, at the end of the day, you get a link that will take you to Plumber. What I need. And the site, you press Ikeja, you get the list yeah, of people yeah. and their addresses. So you're working on something like that in We Lagos. are working, yes. Mr. Governor no, is doing that. He's, well, because I, I was reading that he has just given approval no, uh, for I'm it. I'm telling you, he has not only just given approval, he has given consent. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> okay. Yeah, now, <laughs> now, you're talking about trades and artisan upskilling program. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the, and mentorship. What we do in mentorship is that if, if we look at... Which is another program. Yes, mm -hmm. if we look at a vocation, okay, um, okay, fashion, we look at names that are established already who uh, through, through the years they've been able to, you know, to, to make a name mm -hmm. in whatever field. In, in that particular We profession. engage them to indoctrinate our young ones. Okay. You know, on how... They got to where they are and, you know, perhaps telling them much more that they have discovered in that field. Do you understand? And the thing has been working. Look, look at the, um, uh, the um, uh, what do you call it, uh, mindset reorientation. Uh, because I, 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 we're going to spend a lot of time there. Ah, that one is that a big one. So I was reserving it, it a bit because I wanted to come to you. And since you are ready to go there now, let's talk about it. Because it's a very, very difficult thing, um, mindset. Mm. Even in our national life, mm. there are people who are opining that the, 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 the Nigeria's problem is that we have a mindset that needs adjustment that <laughs> needs reorient. Now you mm. have it within your ministry. So what exactly do you mean by mindset reorientation program? Thank you very uh, much. How, how do you how do you get into a person's mind and affect it? Thank you. We'll affect it through training. We do that a lot and we we're seeing a lot of progress in that area. Mindset, you know, most of the youth they just have this clandestine mindset of entitlement of uh, the need to get a white collar job, of uh, so many things, and they are static with it. We get people, and we have them like the Olufade, the Akison Yaz. We have a lot of them who have been grooming our youth. Hey, get out of the thought that you, uh, you must get to allow her to work. You don't need it. You can have a dream. You can work for yourself. Yes. That's what we. That's what we're preaching. Are, we want, pe are people buying we, that? Yes. Because you, you brought up the. You, you know why the I'm saying entitlement. That, you know. You know why I'm saying they are buying it. When we start with a program, we could start with two fifty people. Mm -hmm. But the next thing you see, the second, the third day, you are. We are recording three thousand, five thousand, the youth talking to each other, all of them logging in. Do you understand? Logging in. To be part of, of this. What, what is being said. And at the end of the day, we run them in series. First series, second series. But by the time we get to the third series, we'll see almost 10,000 people. have we registered. We started with 250. Oh. Mm -hmm. We started with 250. And what are they doing? Indoctrination. You can have a dream and we can really move with you with a dream. All we do is, like, we're about to start something now. We call it talent hunt. We want to go to um, each locality, community. We want to engage the youths there. We want to know what their dreams are. And we want to follow them. We want to follow, 
follow up with them with their dream. When you say talent hunt, you're not necessarily talking exclusively uh, 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 about the artistic uh, process. It could be whatever the, ta the talent might be, you know, financial acumen. Do you, do you it know, might also be singing. Do I just you know that know. is it? Because you don't really get to know until you get to the field to know what their talents are okay. and what they should be doing. And you're doing this? Yeah, yes, the, we are doing the, it. The ministry we, is you know, doing this? The, the ministry is... And you're we, collecting data? We are just about to start. We're a data ministry. I see, yeah, that, so, that is, so that's, that's, we are a data ministry. So you will be getting there data is no way we can field. operate without a data. Even, you know, we have five job centers. Immediately I got to the minister, I said, I don't want this. I visited the five job centers. I said, five job, five local government out of 57. That is, mm. I don't know. It's not, it's not even, it's less than 10%. So we can digitalize this. Okay. And then everybody can register anywhere close to them. Let me, uh, would, uh, so let, let me take a break now. On that. I, 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 I've got to take a break now because there's so much good, so much goodies in there. I'm going to come back and I'm going to stay on it because um, especially when you went to, yeah, of all the ministries, a ministry like the, um, W that of uh, wealth creation and employment needs data and that you are indeed yeah. a data ministry. Yeah. And yeah. Let's take a break and when we come back, we'll talk about this very important aspect of our governance in Nigeria. Stay with us, please. In the month of May, it's exactly two years of the next level agenda. What is the midterm assessment of this administration? How has the journey been in job creation, business and entrepreneurship development, healthcare, education, political inclusion, security and the economy? And in the next two years, another president will be inaugurated. Where will the pendulum swing? On TVC News, we'll deepen the conversation and lay all the cards beer on the table this month of May. Let the conversation continue. Like this and begin to shoot everybody. When the man is there now, we beg them, please, our guy come. They will not help us. But the way they spoil everything. We have reported the matter to the police. There is always more to a story than the screaming line. The part of a story that is not told casts a shadow. It's like the part of an object that is not reached by light. On TVC News, I'm able to explore the many angles there are to a story, talking to stakeholders, asking the difficult questions, and digging for facts. I believe the viewers are able to make a better decision if they're well informed and understand not just a part, but the complete story. TVC News. First, with breaking news. Excellence. We okay, welcome back, and I'm um, still having uh, Mrs. Yetunde Arobi Eke, uh, Honorable Commissioner for Wealth Creation and mm -hmm. Employment in Lagos State. And we're having you, this sir. interesting conversation as to what's going on um, uh, in her, you know, corner of the mm -hmm. Saolu <laughs> administration. Yeah. Uh, everybody has been given an account of their stewardship. And we left on a very important point, which I think uh, it's about um, data collection, because uh, you're speaking about portals, uh, with, uh, speaking about going out to the field. Uh, there's so many people out there that do need assistance. Yeah. Um, so uh, talk to me a bit about your efforts and how the importance that you attach to data collection Thank in a job much. such as yours. Okay. Like uh, the GIPP we were talking about before, we have close to 60,000 youths. I beg you, that have sorry, indicated. Sorry for interrupting you. You're going to have to remind me again. GIPP. 
graduate internship placement program. Okay, graduate yeah. internship, internship placement, internship program. placement program. Yeah. program. Yeah, yeah. We have over six thousand, sixty thousand, you know, youths that have told this administration that please engage us. It's there in the portal. So, if we want to do anything, mm -hmm. like uh, right now as I'm speaking with you, I said we're in partnership with a, com a company in America that is really interested in solar energy. Okay. You know, talking about training our youth, you know, to be vast in this. And uh, at the end of the day, we give them startups. Those ones, they are young entrepreneurs. They will, you know, continue in that, in that line. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to look or to do publicity. So, we just take them from our portal. Uh, so, and so, so, so um, solar energy is a new field. It's a, mm -hmm. a new area of entrepreneurship. And Mr. An Governor is encouraging our youths to get into it. Okay. Because not too long, we equally took some people from the portal. Uh, when um, uh, Buari was talking about metering, uh, that uh, uh, he wants every house to have a meter. And there is a company called Mamont or Mamod or whatever on um, uh, Ibado Expressway that was willing to train for free. Mm -hmm. All we did was we just extracted, you know, electrical engineers on our portal. We, we, we asked them to go and undertake the training now, if let us of metering. Okay. Uh, go, going back to the solar energy, because that's also something new, uh, mm -hmm. that relatively, we're talking about. Because um, experts are actually saying that one of the areas out of our predicament vis-a-vis -vis power, uh, you know, uh, consumption, you know, generation. That will soon be a thing of the past if when people, we are doing a if lot. If people can get off the grid, mm -hmm. if people can get off the grid. Now, you spoke earlier about, because in other climates, in the developed parts of the world, in developed countries, uh, you find people are doing things differently now. Uh, people don't, want, don't necessarily want to be on the grid mm -hmm. if you don't need to be on mm -hmm. the grid. If you don't and need to be yes, there, you don't and, have and, to be And the, you, if you harvest your own power through mm -hmm. solar energy, mm -hmm. you can actually sell back to government by, you know. And that's why Mr. Governor is encouraging the youths in that aspect. He's seriously encouraging them. When they are done with it, we are going to encourage them, give them start-ups, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Tell exactly. us what you need. What do you need to because start? We want young entrepreneurs. We don't want you to looking for a white collar job. We want them to be part of the new developmental strategy that is going on. You know, if you have a dream in a given area, we follow it up with you. And that is why after these youths are trained in their solar, whatever, we will hand them over to LSTF to give them startups. Okay, let me bring in, um, a viewer has called in. Uh, he's a Lagosian, I can see from his name. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning, Mr. Ajose in Surulere. Ogulore, I salute you. Are you still there, Mr. Ajose in Surulere? Very much, very much. Oh, okay, one, one second, please. Mr. Ajose. Mr. Jose in Hello, Uncle, Uncle Yori, can good, you hear good morning. Me? Good morning, sir. Go right ahead. Another super good morning to you. Okay, go ahead, please. And uh, Honorable Yetunde Arobieke. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm so impressed. I could, I, I'm feeling your passion, <laughs> the way you're presenting the facts. I'm feeling the passion. And giving me extra hope for you. Go. Yeah. Now, my question is this. You did mention there's this sort of disconnect, you know, uh, between the youth class and the government is key. Because at the same time, you did acknowledge that your ministry is a data ministry, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So ultimately, you're looking at, you know, producing a robust database. Exactly. Like you can quick to mention the yellow page and then you just get wherever you want to well done all that. Yeah. I look forward and I pray for that happening. Now my concern is this how are you gonna go about quality control, integrity wise okay. of these guys? Thank you very mostly much. Mostly the artisans that okay. are gonna be a, you know, the database uh -huh. going forward. Ah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much, Mr. Ah. Joseph, for Thank that question. Thank you very much. That question, ah, 
you will. It, it, I give you a bravo. It, it, it's important because Lagos is, as you know, the center of excellence. And we have at the realm of affairs an excellent leader. See, I want to give you an example. On the GIPP, Mr. Governor insisted on credibility. And to that, I'm sure I have enormous list of people that need assistance. Mr. Governor gave. None of them are part of the beneficiaries of GIPP paying 40, 40,000. We are paying 40, 40,000 stipend to them on a monthly basis. None of them have made it. Because of what? Because on our portal, they did not score 60%. If you don't score 60%, you don't move on. So it's not about handing out freebies. It's not freebies. You, it's you, you, not. So, so you're, you're doing, you have you're to doing be a something. You're a qualified ambassador you say, of this great so state. So you're doing something to bring merit into the calculation. No, merit in it. Mr. Governor is insisting on merit. He's not compromising it, whoever, whoever the person is. He's not compromising it. So merit is the word. Credibility is the issue. And that's why on social media now, you've not been hearing a lot of negative you know, comments on this GIPP. Mm -hmm. Because we stick to what Mr. Governor wants. Credibility. Mm -hmm. And we are there. Okay. And, and Mr. Joseph's question is a very important one because mm -hmm. um, these are, quote unquote, modern times. Mm -hmm. And um, this, this whole matter about too sharp by half, you're going to rip off the customer, you're going to rip off your client, you know, doing things in a conny, conny sort of way. Okay, All thank you very much. Yesterday we had a meeting. On the portal, we discovered that um, some of our off takers, they're actually conniving with uh, our interns to subvert this program. There are 16 of them, we called them to a meeting. And we, and we told them, we gave them the riot art. Okay. Now the issue so, is... So we see you, uh, no, and you watch we it. We see you, we know you. And watch and it. The issue is, we, 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 we are forced not to give you a second chance. Okay. Because you are going to negate Actively influence our youth. Okay, so one strike and you're out. As that, that, they, they one strike. To serve as deterrent to others. Mm -hmm. To serve as deterrent to others. Okay, madam, um, I have another call on the line. Uh, Mr. Yakub calling in from Dr. Mo. Good morning, sir. Yeah, very good morning, sir. Thank you for calling. And uh, good morning to Honorable Commissioner. Good morning. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Chief Jerry, I, I just called to to tell you that uh, the Honorable Commissioner, she's doing very well. And then I have my reason saying that. Uh, she, she's just mentioned the educated one that is, uh, that not yet get the job, and then they are trying to provide a job for them and all that. Mm. And then she has forgot to mention something. Because in my area here, this is what I can say to You're talking about Dr. Wemu? Yes. Yes. They are doing very well. Why am I saying that? I can't testify to this. I have a woman. There is one woman I know in my area here. Before now, the woman sweep all, you see, you go one from house to house to sweep the floor, to sweep the house, to sweep the surrounding, washing the toilets of those houses, including my own house, my building that I'm staying here. And then at the end of the month, we pay the woman. Suddenly, this woman does not, she does not come to our yard again. And then after some, some months, I, I saw this woman in front of my office uh, selling this uh, mosquito repellent and then uh, uh, this uh, mosquito uh, insecticide. And I called the woman and said, ah, Madam, what happened? You did not come again. Do you know the reply this woman gave to me? He said that the Lagos State government gathered them in Bakari Dusu Secondary School. And then they give them training for almost two months. Mm -hmm. And then this thing they give it to, the, to her. And then she's producing this thing by herself. Do you know what this woman did to me? And I said, okay, this thing that you are producing, how effective is this? He said, I like you. Oh, yeah, take this, I dash you, this small one. Go and try it in your house. If all the, all the, all the mosquito and the cockroach in your house does not die, don't <laughs> buy from me. I took this thing to my house, give you already, you could not believe what happened. I used this thing, the, 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 a lot of cockroach that dies that very fast. As I'm talking to you, you, you I really saw cockroach in my house. So what so, you're saying, sir, is, is that... You actually saw, you know, the effectiveness of the ministry yes, in yes, that individual. See, Chief Jolly, if she does not do well, you know me, you know the fans of this program. 
we have opportunity to be our man. We okay. will talk it to his face. Thank you very much for calling in. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you recognize the aspect of your ministry he was talking about there? No, 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 no. You don't. You know because that. I won't lie. Mm -hmm. That ministry, what he is talking about, is uh, the product of what. Uh, Ministry of uh, Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation Wapa. is doing. They are the ones that teach people on how to make soap, how to make insecticides, okay. Okay. how to do detergent. We don't do that. Because you, but you have entrepreneurship skill acquisition program. Yes. It, it seems related. What it's related because as soon as they leave her, mm -hmm. they will come to us for an upskilled knowledge okay in what they have learned from okay. her. You know, do you understand? I, I, I do. Yes. And uh, there's a way in which these, uh, no, some no, of these ministries are interrelated. That, yes, they are interrelated. What I'm saying that is because she, uh, I'm talking about WAPA right now. Yes. She, she, she's the one that did that program. The program we are talk, the program the man is talking about. Okay, that is the, the because we the don't the commissioner in charge. We don't our we, for the level that we take our trades people and our artisans mm -hmm. are higher than that. Okay, do you understand? So it's like so, it but could start. It, it all speaks to what Mr. Governor is doing in Lagos State, transforming lives, mm -hmm. and it can be from okay. any local government. It can be from us. Okay. It can be from like very soon now. Because we got approval again for another 2,000 upscaling program. Oh See, this, uh, these are okay. unpre unprecedented achievements. Uh, it uh, is not on record. And proudly, Goshians are calling in. Yes. Take, take uh, Miss Adele is in the UK. She has called in. Good uh -huh. morning, Miss Adele in the UK. <laughs> yeah, good morning, sir. <laughs> oh, it is a mister. Okay. Is it? It's a mister. Oh, it's a miss. Oh, Prince. It's a Prince Adele. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, Prince La My name is Carol. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah go ahead, can please. Hear you. Tell us your name. Yeah, my name is uh, Prince Lasu Adili from UK. Okay. Adili. Okay. okay. Yeah, Prince Lasu, not only Adili, Lasu Adili from UK. Okay. Okay, I understand. You're not, you're not, you're not home. You're away right now. That's okay. The name is domiciled in Lagos. Carry on, please. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I'm very, very impressed this morning because I've been trying to be connected with your program, Mr. Yori. Very, very good, sir. Good, you are committed yeah. when we are here. Uh, when I see your program this morning with the Honorable Mrs. Go on, please. Go on, go on, go on. Don't, don't listen to yourself. Okay. Yeah, I would like to commend that uh, the, the Honorable Lady. Yeah for the program that she presented this morning. Because uh, we in the UK, we are still trying all the time to see what the governors can present or to provide for the youth, especially in Akete Island. But what I heard this morning, I was so impressed, and I want to pray for this lady. The God Almighty will provide for you, continue doing the will, that you deserve to engage for the youth and the engineers of Lagos here. Thank so you very much, Prince. Thank you very much. But I, I need to let you know that for whatever we are able to do, it's because Mr. Governor is committed to those things. It's not about us. If we present it and he says no, what do we do? There you go. Continue from today to be focused on the issues. All right. Thank you very much, so Prince. God bless you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, much. Prince Adele, for calling in. Um, uh, and as she is saying in there, she says that um, very, uh, very little would have been achieved if not for the leadership yes. of, uh, of, Mr. Uh, of, Governor. of Mr. Governor. Yes, who's committed uh, in, in, to in there. this social impact in the, is, is seriously committed. Uh, well, it, it is. And uh, I think I tried a bit to sort of get how it is that your ministry... Uh, uh, what they are doing, you're not handing over money, never mind the wealth creation part of your name. Mm -hmm. that, that sounds quite uh, interesting. Um, you're, 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 you're creating what is it? Would it be right to say you're creating potential wealth by enabling people? That if you we come, are enabling people to create wealth for themselves, okay, that's I, what we do. Are you people who have called it the Ministry of Wealth Enablement? 
<laughs> Mr. <laughs> Governor may be hearing, so he will, could change his ministry. But, but that's what I meant on ground. Yes. But really, let me let, let, sure. uh, just, you know, uh, chip in, you know, uh, this word. You see, whatever you're able to achieve at the end of the day, you know, says volume of who is at the realm of affairs. Who is one way? Okay, like I need to give you an example now. Uh, most of the things we're doing in this ministry have been a lot unprecedented. It has never been done before there. You know, apparently not because of anything. Mm -hmm. At least someone created the ministry. But you see, the ministry is having impact more than ever before because at the realm of affairs is a man who has understanding, like okay. I've said. Yeah. Okay, now, when we do mentorship, we bring all the people you know, in whatever industry, we'll give them our youth to, we, we, we plead with them to train them, turn them to authorities as far as that vocation is concerned. Okay. And when they come out of it, we recommend some of them to LSE, Lagos State, you know, uh, Employment Trust Fund. You know, like I'm saying, part of most things they have achieved They've been able to disburse over 7.6 billion, yeah. billion to over 8,006 and something. These are people living in Lagos. And Indeed. is wealth not being created? And it is going to rub off yes, on, the from, whole, on the whole from, Lagos economy. From whatever okay. to, I, to as high as 5 million. Okay, I don't want to delay another UK call. I don't okay. know why they're calling you from all over the continent. <laughs> you know. um, Mr. Mosaku in the UK, good morning, sir. Mosaku in the UK, good morning. Did I lose you already? Mm. I... I thought you were there. Mr. Mosaku in the UK. No? Okay. Good morning. Ah, good morning, sir. Go ahead right now, please. How are you, sir? Very well, thank you. And you? Yeah, I'm very good. Very good. Thank you, sir. Yeah, um, I would like to appreciate um, Honorable Madam this morning. Honorable Arobi Eke. Um, <laughs> Not Honorable Madam. Yeah. Honorable uh, Arobi Eke. <laughs> Okay, Honorable Arugiake, thank you very much, ma'am, for, for this program this morning. Mm. And um, we really appreciate you, and um, we, 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 have, we have confidence in you. But one thing I will let you, madam, to know, ma'am, is um, most of the job we are doing, or they are doing in Nigeria, does not have continuity. Um, as we started now, um, the credibility, we, we thank you for the credibility, uh, but we want the continuity in control of, 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 of the program so as to engage our, our graduates. And exactly. please, madam, please think of the, the undergraduate one, please, too. Ah. So carry them along. She spoke a bit so about that. To so that, Mr. Governor is already creating one. structures. Okay. She spoke a yeah, bit about we, that. We, we know we 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 really appreciate you, ma, for, for the job for your for, for your for your passion, uh, your passion. Because she has spoken the about country. the trades and uh, artisans um, upskilling program. It might be part of it. Yes, please. Yeah, it's, it's still part of it. But 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 we we want the Lagos State government or whatever our continuity in everything we are doing is more paramount, ma. Okay. Thank you very much. And I think you need to score Lagos State very high on that. You see, we have a blueprint of action to which most successive governments follow. But uh, that definitely uh, uh, does not mean you cannot hide your own. Mm -hmm. Like, this administration is focused on themes agenda. Some of them are woven around those blueprints that has been established before, but with conscious addition. Okay, so there's a, there's, a, there's a road map yes, that it's all a road administrations map. are following. Yes. But, you know, with, you know, as you say, uh, addition as necessary. Ah, and addition agreed. by this administration is very, oh, it's fantastic. Through our themes agenda. Hmm. Through our themes agenda. You, you know what and we, we are working assiduously to see to heed that none 
of those pillars in the team's agenda mm. are, are jettisoned. And you know what, what, what warms my heart is you, you, you said that um, you go out to the field and, um, uh, and we know that you, when you do that, mm -hmm. you will get data and mm -hmm. you're acquiring this data. And so you're Even outside the GIPP, mm -hmm. now we have MWCE dot job bank dot job bank you can write it and relate it dot lagos state dot gov dot ng established for our job centers so you don't need to say how can lagos have five job centers we have a link so to that link you can register in any of the five you can register and this has been housed by ministry of uh, science and technology okay so as you tell us what you want in the formal and the informal sector the gipp is you know basically for graduate for graduate placement but this new one which is the job bank mm -hmm. it's for everybody just tell us what you want uh, mwce yes which is ministry of wealth creation and employment dot, dot lasg dot gov no no dot dot job <laughs> job bank okay dot lagos state dot gov dot ng okay That's there you it. got it maybe I'm, and i'm sure if that was a bit confusing never mind um by the time you go to the to their website the the ministry's website the ministry website the, is there. that information will be there Probably yes ministry of work creation uh, 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 and yeah. employment just okay. abbreviate that m w c e mm -hmm. then dot job bank dot lagos state dot gov dot ng oh, well. so to that if you are a former if you need a former job or informal job just register there you know, we'll take you up from there. Mrs. Yetunde Arubi, okay? So. <laughs> I, 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 I want to thank you very much thank for you coming very much along too. today <laughs> to give us a, a, a clearer insight into what's going on exactly. uh, in the ministry. And by that, exactly. we begin to get a peek, even though it wasn't our business this morning, into other ministries, how some of mm -hmm. them interconnect yes, and work together. They interconnect, you, yes. you know, one exactly. finishes and the other one picks it up picks and that it kind up of a thing. And uh, like I'm telling you, maybe this is good for you to know. Mr. Governor in the spirit of ease of doing business, mm -hmm. is establishing ops. We, as I'm speaking, we are constructing the leather hub, as I'm speaking with you right now. And all the people in the leather value chain yes. will have a place to go. You may not even have equipment, we have the equipment there for you. Because, because we have, in Lagos, yes. we've, we've done the computer hub already. Yes. So you're not talking about a leather hub. A leather hub. And, uh, we are going to do fashion hub. We are doing gemstone hub. Wow. I'm telling you. You, you know, maybe maybe you have to come back again. Or <laughs> um, because um, we, we have so much that we can start to chew on that um, uh -huh. uh, as we are. And uh -huh. I want to thank you very much and wish you all And the so best. unless you're a lazy person in Lagos... Mm. You have no excuse. And, uh, you you know must be making wealth one way or the other. You know there's the Yoruba song about Lagos is not going to be tolerant of that. Oh, Ben, is zero yeah. tolerance. Of, uh, for yes, and, zero uh, tolerance so, to uh, I do, I do mind. Honorable Yetunde Arobi, okay? uh, Commissioner for Wealth Creation and Employment in Lagos. Thank State. you very much. Thank you very much for coming You're most on welcome, program sir. Today. You're welcome. Okay, then. So uh, that's our program. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. But before I go, I have the time to say uh covid 19 has not gone away it's still out there we are told so you need to keep on being as responsible as we have been you need to keep on masking up you need to social distance you need to keep on washing your hands and um there's one more yeah you need to consider taking the vaccine i know people are out on that but you need to consider taking the vaccine you do all of that and um you know what we, we, with prayers uh, we can achieve anything i'll see you tomorrow god willing i'm yori falari bye-bye for now It's your friends. Looks so cute as a baby. Your comedy. No! <laughs> your drama. I don't understand this kind of argument. Was it because your voices were so loud? Your game. Nobody's looking for that voice. Your heroes. Something good is coming somebody's way. It's your moment with your stories. Made at home for your home. Because great stories start on DSTV.
It's insightful. It's exciting. It's enriching. It's Marketing Edge on TV, a half-hour TV show on the business of brand management and the management of brand business. Marketing Edge on TV is a potpourri of juicy and exclusive industry news on brands, advertising, media, PR, brand and focus, industry conversation, and the entire gamut of integrated marketing communications business. It's a business show with glamour and grandeur. We serve you hot and sizzling with all ingredients in the mix. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the brand ideal. Zambayo as a bringing news from the epicenter, where it happens and when it happens. Staying on top of every breaking story, minute by minute, right at the hour when the city gets busy and just before it sleeps. We're live from every angle with objective insight and analysis. TVC News, first breaking news. From fishing to farming, from oil and gas exploration to exploitation, from environmental pollution to eventual degradation, this is the story of a people bedeviled by the suffocating trinity of poverty, insecurity, and deprivation in the midst of their God-given resources. Gas and the black gold, crude oil. Inside the Niger Delta is an adventure into the lives of the Niger Delta people and their continuing struggle for a better tomorrow, where we take you on a journey through the creeks and streets of Nigeria's oil-rich region. Inside the Niger Delta with Mamode Akuga, the authentic voice of Nigeria's oil-rich region. Every Wednesday at 9.30 p.m. and every Saturday at 8.30 a.m. on TVC News. Genuine business people desirous of success in today's environment ignore the tax man only at their own peril. Under the oversight of this board, the FIRS will continue its transformation into a premier revenue collecting agency. For up-to-date and accurate information on your obligations, duties and rights under the various tax laws in Nigeria, watch Tax Matters on CVC News Terrible.